Hey Alan, what's up? Every time we toss a coin in the air, there's this feeling of unpredictability that begs an immediate question, whether it will land on its heads or its tails. But that's something we usually don't think about too much. We all know that regardless of the side that we'll be facing up when the coin lands, there is a certainty that it will land. You may say that nobody thinks about that just because, well, this is too obvious. But here's the thing. This is one of the most important principles in probability, that something must happen. And if we give enough time, anything could happen. You could think that winning the lottery twice, for instance, is something highly improbable, and it really is. But if you see the big picture, once you start thinking about the number of people betting in the lottery in the whole world since the invention of lottery 300 years ago, you may realize that somebody winning the lottery twice is bound to happen. I've been trying to test this hypothesis for a long time now, and I want you to help me. You are going to make a prediction, and it's going to happen like this. You, you're going to look at the cards, okay, and choose one card. Take the card, out, the card out and leave it on the table like this, okay? And you can leave the rest of the deck aside. And this is usually uh, uncommon. When a magician asks someone to pick up a card, the person who does it does without looking at the cards. But today I'm not here as a magician. Today I'm here as a spectator that wants to see if something really special could happen. So go ahead. I want you to freely and consciously Select a card. I'm not going to look so you don't think I'm trying to see something. Okay? You can leave the rest of the deck. That's perfect. So, we're going to use this deck of cards, okay, to test this hypothesis, okay? And we don't need to use the whole deck, okay? We're going to use only a bunch of cards. So, I'm going to shuffle the cards like this and I'm going to ask you to pick up little groups of cards and leave them on the table until we have a small packet, okay? okay. Yeah, I think we have enough. So, go ahead. I want you to shuffle these cards, please. I want you to be as fair as possible, so shuffle as much as you want. And you can give it a cut at the end if you want. Okay. Well, when I asked you to select a card, you, do, you did know that, but you were also choosing a location. Because every card has a value, okay? Going from ace being one until king being 13. So we're going to use this value to count to a position on this packet, okay? But because you selected how many cards we were going to use. I don't know if we have enough cards to count, okay? So I have to count because if you selected like uh, king, I need to know if we have 13 cards, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's enough, okay? Well, what I want you to do now is I want you to count the value of your card over here, right? And when you get to your card, you're going to separate it and put it beside your card. Like, let's assume you selected a, a seven. You count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh card, you put it right beside your card. Okay, so go ahead. You pick up that uh, one, two, three, four. That's nice. Well. You could have selected any card, right? And it would land in another position in this packet, okay? And I remember, I just forgot to tell you about my hypothesis. Here's the thing. What if someone could look at a deck of cards, freely select one, make a prediction, pick up a bunch of random cards from a shuffle deck, shuffle these cards, deal them on the table themselves, using their prediction as a location guide? And the two cards end up being the same. Well, 
Remember that I told you that if we have enough time, anything could happen. You might throw me off saying that, well, we're only talking about this for a few minutes now. But no, I'm not talking about the time since you and I, that spent since you and I started talking about probability. I'm talking about the time we had since the first magician ever tried something like this. I'm talking about the millions and millions of playing cards that were dealt in the table, in a table, since in the whole history of playing cards. So if we're lucky, if we're lucky, this should be enough time. So please go ahead and turn both of the cards at the same time. Ah! Yes! Oh. <laughs> oh.